Hi, I'm Jane Goodfellow. Welcome to a brand new series, Cochlear TV. Over the next few episodes, you're going to meet some fellow cochlear implant users just like me, as well as some of the staff here at Cochlear. You'll also get some handy tips and advice about living with a cochlear implant. In this video, we'll see some of the amazing work Global Hearing Ambassador Brett Lee has been doing in Asia and meet some of the people using the Aqua Plus and Nuclear 6. But first, our new CEO, Chris Smith, is here to kick things off. My name is Chris Smith and I am CEO and President of Cochlear. More than 360 million people around the world have some form of disabling hearing loss. That's approximately 5% of the world's population. So it's a significant global public health issue. It affects people of all ages and has significant impacts, clinical, social, and economic. Everyone has heard of hearing aids, but many people still don't know about the implantable hearing technologies and the positive impact they can have on people's lives, especially those with profound hearing loss. Often when hearing aids can't work, a cochlear implant or a Baja product can. We need to change the way people view hearing loss, and we need to get the word out that you don't have to live with some type of disabling hearing loss and that there are long-term solutions. Cochlear is the market leader in implantable hearing products, and our promise is to help people with hearing loss here now and always. Lee, I'm the Cochlear Global Hearing Ambassador. How does that sound? These are little things that make my trip worthwhile. Yes, you can. I can hear the Aussie tone. Perfect. <laughs> Finished here at Bombay Gymkhana. It's been a wonderful afternoon. What's your favourite sound in cricket? It's amazing technology and then the result can be beyond what you could possibly imagine. need to go through life with hearing difficulties. The chance to play some cricket and interact with it, you know, with the kids was uh, was awesome. Every kid wants to hear, every kid deserves to hear, and every kid should hear. With my first child, a lot of my spoken language to them is when you bath them. You're in the bath, so you're singing nursery rhymes. And as I've been told now, that nursery rhymes are one of the best forms of um, speech and language for a child to learn. So Ben missed out on all that because I was singing to him, but he couldn't hear. So once they found out that Ben is a fish in water... I'm not a they, fish, thank you. It means you love to swim lots, and you're always in our pool out the back. They offered us to trial them for two weeks. Oh, I was nearly in tears. It was like a switch on, being able to hear for the first time. I was pretty emotional about it. Like he didn't believe me that you could actually hear underwater. It's amazing, but I'd recommend it. It's awesome. I'd say it's an essential part of the cochlear implant.
I'm so grimwood, I went profoundly deaf in 1984, um, but didn't have the cochlear implant till 1987. In those days, it was a very heavy voice box with the wires and the cord. Not very comfortable. Um, I went profoundly deaf from two hours in a nightclub. I was in a show at the time, Fiddler on the Roof, with the Bond Amateur Dramatics. Uh, I used to sing and dance. And my girlfriend came this particular night and said, oh, we're going to this nightclub. And we were there for no more than two hours, as I said. And I, my ears were buzzing when we came out. Next morning, my daughter, who was five at that stage, came in and asked me something. I went straight over to my GP, who sent me straight to a specialist, and the specialist told me I have a deafness that 80 year olds get with age. There was no cure. All the hearing nerves were gone. It's the best thing that has happened so far, not only for the sound, it's the weight of it that's a lot um, lighter. The sound is impeccable, and of course, TV without captions is the greatest invention that ever happened. I can hear the TV without captions in another room. I can close the door off the bathroom and I can still hear the TV. I can watch the TV while someone's in the other room watching the same show. I can still watch it and I don't even need any sound to be able to watch it. It's a miracle. I actually forgot I was channeled into the TV and went to a shop, which is about, uh, there's a driveway and then there's a little convenience store at the next block of flats. And I for had forgotten to change the channel and I'm still hearing the TV from, from um, my friend's house. It's brilliant. I feel like a hearing person. And it's been a long time since I've been able to say that. Across to the centre, Wilson on the volley, yes. and what a finish! James Wilson with his second goal of the match. I heard that. Great work by the midfielder. And that's all for this show. We hope you've enjoyed it, and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on Cochlear TV.